everybody. So I was I went and visited my mom today, and then um, on my way home I did my grocery shopping. So I got a bunch of stuff. So I got a bunch of vegetables. So I I have this packet of chicken in my freezer. So I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this in the pot. And I'm going to let it boil and I'm going to make like a chicken soup kind of thing. And then, um, but right now I'm just going to put the chicken inside of the water and so it can get a broth going. And then, um, and then whenever it's all cooked, then I'll, um, I'll turn the camera back on. Right now you can see I have a lovely mess that I have to clean up. And it's what time right now? It's like three in the afternoon on Saturday. So... I worked, then I went and visited my mom, then I went grocery shopping, and now I'm home. And now I have to do dishes, and then I figured, so while I'm doing my dishes, I'll put this in there, that way it gets a start on it, and then I'll turn the video back on whenever I start chopping up all the vegetables that I got, and I got a lot of vegetables. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Um... Let me bounce out just one second. I want to make sure you guys can see everything. Okay. So, um, this, like I said, I live in a, a little RV. And I'll give you guys a tour one of these days. So, I got all this stuff. I got cilantro. I'm in the process of making some chicken soup. Uh, kind of rainy and kind of cool, but really muggy. So, I was like, I have the chicken. So, I'm going to go ahead and make some chicken soup. So, you can add whatever you want to add. You can do it whichever way you want to do it. These are some of the things that I like. So, I got cilantro. I got some kale. I've never worked with kale before, so this will be interesting. Um, I do like the soup. But, uh, Tuscan something soup at um, the Olive Garden. And I think that's in it. Oh no, it's potato potato Tuscan soup and it has kale in it but it has the spicy sausage in it so good so um the kale and then I got cremini mushrooms um I got garlic I got some broccoli some baby bok choy onion I got some I think these are the sugar peas I like these better than the I don't know there's two different kinds jalapeno and of course the chicken um and then i also i also have some potato that i'm gonna add but probably not a lot so um so the the so what you call it the uh chicken is still cooking so we'll go ahead and uh and start chopping these things up but i wanted to show you what i got it's just so nice to go shopping for my groceries because i so what I do is I um I have a refrig my refrigerator is very small. So what what I do is instead of having to make something every evening whenever I come home, I um just prepare something nice and healthy and then I portion it out. I portion it out into like in containers like this. And then I put it inside of the I put it in the refrigerator and then I I can I also do salads like individual salads for my lunch and then I do stuff like this on a bigger platform and store it in the refrigerator and then when I come home all I gotta do is grab one thing heat it up and I know I have something that's healthy for me to eat and it's actually made a difference in helping me to to not necessarily lose weight but because I exercise too, um, but it's uh, helped to, like, I think stabilize my whole body. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not any, like, healthy, healthy person. No. I like my donuts. And uh, I like my bacon. I just don't eat as much of it as I used to eat. And even with the donuts, that's not something that you eat all the time anyways. So, um, you can ask my coworkers. Anytime there's donuts, Velvet knows where the donuts are. Somebody always has to tell me, there's donuts, Velvet! And I'm like, yes! So, um, 
last week I actually, I actually had like a, they, my, my boss, they, he brought, so somebody, one of the previous co-workers, um, brought us some, uh, I'm gonna cut this stuff up before I talk, brought us some donuts, and then, so, I had one donut, and then I was like, did I really get another one? But I couldn't help myself. So I went ahead and I got another donut. And then the next day, my boss brought in bagels. Oh, so good. I love bagels. And they were still warm. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the whole thing of this. Well, I guess it will cook down inside of the oven. Or inside of the, the pot. So just chop it up into small pieces. This is a baby bok choy. It has a little bit of an onion uh, taste to it. I like it. Uh, I like crisp vegetables and normally, like whenever I make stuff like this, I don't cook it to death. So there's still a little bit of a bite to the um, to the vegetables and there's still a little bit of, of, the, of a bite to the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a bite to pretty much anything that I put inside. I, I like to make sure that the the meat is really cooked tender tender and then i'll add this stuff like towards the end because it's it's uh the chicken has got the flavor inside of there so inside the pot i have um i think there's six chicken thighs and then um and then uh the, what you call it the uh i put some garlic salt and garlic powder in there and then I put, uh, that's it, just water and that. And then I'm going to add some butter because um, it makes it creamy. So, I mean, like, yeah, I'm just going to chop up the vegetables. But, uh, yeah, so, um, also, so recently, uh, recently a co-worker that uh, I was really close to left the job. And so he went to work for another company. And so I used to st share my stories with him. Um, and, you know, my co-workers are my co-workers, right? But, I mean, when you don't have that person to talk to anymore. So I'm going to ramble to you guys. So, um, anyway, so I created... So this is going towards my, my Sims, my game that I play, Sims 4. Um, I created a Sim... Because they said in this group that I'm in, they said that uh, you can uh, have them talk to the aliens or whatever. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. So, I've never had one of my sims become a scientist before. So, our, her name is Peggy Doc. I named her Peggy Doc. And then, uh, so anyways, so she built this, uh, built this satellite. And then you can contact the aliens. So she contacted the aliens. And then they they came down and they abducted her. I was like, what? That was hella cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And then, uh, yeah, and then, so I was playing last night. And uh, I had to work today. But I was playing last night. And... She she was contacting the aliens because you just click on click on the thing, and it click and it says contact aliens. So uh, I was I turned around and turned away from my computer for like two minutes. I turned around and looked, and there was all these green and blue people going into the house, and I was like, oh shit, it's fucking aliens. They came, they dropped down and went into her house and she was asleep. Chick was asleep. Um, so when you play Sims, they have this little diamond thing over their head. So, uh, whatever, it's called a plumb ball. And if you look at my other videos, um, you'll be able to see that. And then, uh, so... It was all red, so I knew she needed to sleep. But I woke her up, and I got out my cell phone real fast so I could take some pictures of it. So I was like, oh shit, 
because it's the first time this ever happened and I was very excited about it. I know it's lame, but I was very excited about it. And so she's just like chilling with all the aliens and stuff. Hella funny. So I'm washing all this stuff off. Especially you want to make sure that you get like any of the, what's, what's another one? Like even the kale, even though the kale was, well, because it was in a bag, because I got the bag time, this easier, I guess. Um, we'll see how it works and then maybe I'll just buy the regular stuff. I heard it's a, hard to cook it, but I, I know that it tastes really good and it's good for you. But I mean, you want to make sure to get all the rooted, all the root vegetables. You want to make sure to wash everything. Like I have some cabbage here. And what else? Just then the mushrooms and stuff like that. You want to make sure that everything's clean, clean. So I'm going to mess with the chicken and see how that's doing. Okay. This chicken is all little plump balls. So I'm going to start. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to chop the... I like onion. Oops. I don't have... I don't have mad knife skills. There's no way. <laughs> um, I just want to prevent cutting myself. That's all I worry about. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to add some onion in there for the... They call them aromatics. Uh, I want to put some butter in here. So, I'm going to put... I'll put a whole stick in there. And I think I'm going to take the chicken out and shred it. Yeah, I had, um, I have some stuff going on out in my garden, so I'm going to do a video one day of my, of my outside area. And I have some unboxing. I have some, some products coming from QVC that I'm going to unbox and post videos for so you guys can see the stuff. <clears throat> One of the things that I got is, um, maybe, maybe this one. Oh yeah, that's better. Um, I'm going to do, like, uh, I have some things that are coming from QVC. And it's, they're gar it's garden stuff, um, so I want to see I want to see how well it works, but I want you guys to see see how well it works too. Um, but right now they're doing like a I'm gonna cut my finger off. They're doing um, maintenance on the mobile home park uh, for inspection that's coming up. So. Uh, and plus it's raining outside right now, so I don't want to take take the camera outside. It's not an expensive camera, it's just a phone. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and take out this the yucky end part. And all the skin stuff. Throw that in there. I love... When there's fresh garlic and fresh onions smell inside of the house, oh, it just smells like life, you know? It makes the whole house smell just awesome and biting. Inviting and scrumptious. Whenever you're doing garlic, if you need to get it out of the skin, I don't know if I told you guys or if you guys already know, you just go ahead and smash it with the, the hammer. Or the, with the hammer. Whew, that onion's making me cry. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead and stir that. Oh, wow. 
Nothing's making me cry. How are you doing? Are you farting? Oh, she's my pretty bird. So I'm going to throw this in here and then I'm going to pause the video just a little bit so that I can shred the chicken and then I'll be right back. All right, I shredded up the chicken, but also <laughs> when I turned the camera off, my bird flew out of the cage and over here by the stove. I could not stop my eyes from watering because of the stupid onion. I was like, okay, stop. Yeah, so onions will make you, your eyes water. Usually they don't make my eyes water, but this one sure had some potent uh, uh, fumes. So I'm going to start putting this stuff in here a little bit. The meat, the meat is already completely cooked. So everything else just has to get to a, 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 a just a just just at the bite kind of thing. Um, I actually may not have room for everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some of these mushrooms. Let me see where can I put this? Put this here for right now. I'm gonna cut up some of these mushrooms and some of the peas at least and get them in there and then i also want to add those jalapenos because those freaking those jalapenos are are awesome they make i mean like i didn't used to like having um jalapenos in anything because i always felt like it overwhelmed everything with just the taste of the jalapenos but if you do just a little bit of it i mean it tastes really really great I think I'm gonna set these in a different bowl because I really I want these to, I don't want these to be overdone. I I don't like regular peas. I won't put regular peas in, in anything that I eat because it tastes like you're eating. They're very grainy. Like when you bite into it or whatever, it's kind of grainy. It's kind of like me and beans. I, I just don't like I don't really like beans. But I love these little peas because they got like a little sweetness to them. Um, and I'm a big sweet freak. At least. And then so. I know you're supposed to take the ends off. But I don't see any rough ends on these. So we should be good to eat the whole thing. I just bought a whole. A whole. I just grabbed a, a bunch of them at the fresh area in the grocery store. And the bird, you hear the bird in the background. She's like, I want to come out now. No, you're not coming out now. And anything that I don't eat, like I'm going to throw that in there. And I'm just going to go th throw this in here. I'll just have it set aside for, I'll eat a, a have it as a, lead, a salad. You know. So we'll cut the white part out. And the majority of the seeds. Don't touch your eyes uh, and make sure that you actually don't have any cuts on your hands. Whatever you dig into the jalapeno, it's the most brutal pepper on the freaking planet. Not literally, but I mean, it's, it is just really, really not nice to your eyes, to your mucous membranes. some smaller pieces and also I know that um, if you have pets I know some of this stuff that you can expose them to like the vegetables and stuff like that they can actually you can actually make them sick all right so we're gonna rinse these guys off a little Mushrooms. I'll just cut up a few of these mushrooms and then some of the cilantro. I'm gonna turn this down. I 
I had the one last time I made something, I had to actually grab my other pot. That might not be a bad idea to grab my other pot. I had to I had to actually have another pot because I had put too much inside of this pot. Maybe I'll just make a couple batches. But yeah. I made so much. But you don't you never know like how much how much to put. Well, I guess if you're professional you probably do. This is gonna be so freaking good. This other stuff I'm just gonna save for a salad. Because there's just no room in the pot. At least right now there's no room in the pot. So put lots of chicken in there. So this definitely needs to boil down, but I got fresh fresh garlic in there, fresh potatoes, creminis, mushrooms. That's a big chunk of chicken. Actually, cut that up. I want to touch it. Is it? Whoosh, it's fucking hot. Oh, and that's another thing. Whenever the bird came over here, when I went paused the video, when the bird came over here, I dropped my freaking fork into the damn pot, and then and I so I was trying to get it out of the pot, and I burned my damn fingers. So I'm glad that that wasn't caught on on the video actually, but. You know, stuff happens while you're in the kitchen. So we don't want this. Let's go to the garbage. Go ahead and slide this back in here. And um, you can add, you could add cream. You could, I mean, you could pretty much add whatever you want to add. Let me grab a towel. You could add whatever you want to the soup. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper and I think that's it for us today. Uh, I really, um, this is going to take a while for it to actually um, simmer down, like where they can all like come to life. And then, um, then I'll add some more of this stuff if there's more room. And then um, I'm going to just let it go. I'm going to add pepper, some pepper. Alright you guys, hope you guys are having a good day, a good weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I'll be back with some unboxing and probably some other stuff, so have a good day. Bye bye.